Ladies and gentlemen, Chadronic here. I finally did it. Super Mario 64 in virtual reality in the year 2014. This is how far we've come, ladies and gentlemen. Super Mario 64 on the Actos Rift. Check it out. Obviously, you don't see anything special right now. This is just kind of the intro to the game. Um, the head tracking is active right now, as you can probably tell. And what I'm going to do at first is show you the game normally using the Oculus Rift without using the first person camera mod. And uh, nothing special. Basically, the camera that sits behind Mario just kind of has the ability to have a little bit more leeway on what it's looking at. Obviously controlled by your head. So, nothing special from what I would point out. But uh, this is when the magic happens. Right here. We're about to play the game, the first person on the Oculus Rift. Okay, so at this point, uh, I think it's good to start pointing out some of the pros and cons. Uh, one of the pros is uh, the level of immersion is fantastic. You really get a sense of what is big and what is small in proportion to Mario, which is something we've never really gotten an experience before, so that's really neat. One thing that's always frustrating to me is them, some things in, just get trans, lost in translation in making these videos. Obviously, you're never going to have the true experience that I am sitting right in front of you as the, this is just a YouTube video. Um, but uh, I always try the best with my videos to best describe everything that happens in experiencing something like this. But uh, unfortunately, this is as far as we're going to get unless you yourself have an Oculus Rift dev kit and attempt this yourself. Now, don't get me wrong and uh, let this video fool you and think that I'm trying to show you that this is the most ultimate way to play Super Mario 64. Um, <laughs> that is in no way absolutely even close to what I'm trying to prove here. Um, so, Super Mario 64 is famously known for having a pretty finicky camera. And uh, that really uh, comes into being a problem, even with the Oculus Rift. <laughs> the, it's just extremely impossible. Well, it's feasible, but very difficult um, as far as con how to control Mario, where he goes, which way he's facing. It's a really frustrating experience. So most of the cuts and edits in this video are probably some of the best uh, moments um, I had playing the game and uh, were probably some of the times I had some of the best control over trying to play the game just in general. Now, as far as the game runs, the game actually runs uh, extremely well. Uh, most of the weird things uh, I ran into were graphical, and uh, something like that is normally expected. Like, as you can see, these, these giant balls rolling around uh, just seem to be kind of like cardboard cutouts. Um, so some of the 2D textures used in the game um, behave kind of odd when you use something like the Oculus Rift. One more thing I also noticed was while bypassing the game's normal camera, some objects tend to just like not load in front of you. And I think that's just because the game simply thinks you're not looking that direction yet, so it doesn't load it into view. Something they probably just used to save on resources on the game in its original release which is quite understandable, being that the cartridge technology back then was pretty limited. Just like as you're about to see, uh, fighting King bob uh, it's just not quite possible with the flaw I just I just mentioned. Um, <laughs> he actually gives me kind of scare here. He's just like really up in your face. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, as you're about to see, he just kind of like loads out and loads in uh, whenever the game feels like it. Uh, and that's just because the game doesn't think you're actually looking at him yet because the Oculus Rift kind of bypasses quite of the normal mechanics the game relies on. <laughs> As you can see, I just have a lot of trouble here. And ultimately, I just kind of give up, go back to third person to finish off the boss. And that's okay because I've got some other things I want to show you here. 
So as I'm close to wrapping things up here, I just want to make it clear that this isn't something I wanted to do so that I could play through the entire game. It was more something that I just wanted to experience because uh, <laughs> ever since I got an Oculus Rift, uh, it's always been a dream of mine to play Super Mario 64 more than it was Metroid Prime, as ridiculous as that sounds. Um, it's just one of the games I think everyone is just really familiar with. Everyone's played throughout their childhood and... Uh, Playing into the game in a new way like this is just, I think, really cool. So, um, I think that's we're going to wrap it up here today, guys. If you'd like to see more of videos like this and similar content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a like and uh, comment in uh, what other games you'd like to see on the Oculus Rift. That's it for today, guys. Peace out.